Hey guys, Apple Maniac YT here. So as you saw from the title and thumbnail of this video, today I'm going to be showing you how to dump the onboard SSSH blobs of A6 devices such as the iPhone 5, 5C, or iPad 4. So let's go ahead and get right into this. Before I start, I want to let you know that for this video, you will need a Mac. So if you don't have a Mac, go ahead and click off of this video because this won't work for you. Virtual machines will not work. You need a real Mac. Okay, so before we get started, you're going to need to download two files. One, the corresponding IPSW to the firmware that you want to dump blobs for. And second, this folder that includes all the tools and files necessary to dump the blobs. I'll leave a link in the description to both of these files. Once you have them downloaded, just continue this tutorial. You want to start off by opening up the terminal and typing CD and dragging in the A6 blobs folder and hitting enter. You can go ahead and type dot slash IPWNDER32 dash P. And now you need to put your device into DFU mode. So hold the power and home for 10 seconds. If it fails, just try again. It may take multiple tries, but then it should work. After a couple of failed attempts, your device should enter Pwn DFU mode where you can continue with the steps. Now you want to type CD Mac OS. Now you want to type dot slash iRecovery dash F Pwn to IPEC and press enter. If you get this little permission denied thing, don't worry, I'll show you exactly how to fix it. Okay, so to fix this, you want to type in sudo chmod755, and you want to select every file inside of the macOS folder. Drag it into the, drag them all into the terminal, and hit enter. You can instantly see them all become executables. Now you want to go back and rerun the command dot slash irecovery dash f pwned ibec. Okay, now you want to unplug your device from the computer and plug it back in. Your phone screen should now be dimly lit. It's kind of hard to tell on this phone. There you go. If I push on the crack right there, you can kind of tell. Now you want to type dot slash irecovery dash s. You want to type slash send space dot dot slash payload. Hit enter. Type go blobs. Hit enter. And then type slash exit. Hit enter. Now you want to type dot slash irecovery dash g shsh dot d-u-m-p so shsh.dump and hit enter and you'll see a new file appear called shsh.dump now you want to type dot slash i recovery dash s and type reboot and you'll see your iphone begin to reboot very quickly and you can now disconnect it from the computer if you'd like we're not done yet since it's still a dump file you now need to convert it over to an shsh file now you want to type in this command dot slash ticket shsh.dump shsh.plist drag in your ipsw dash z you will now see shsh.plist in the folder you can now rename this file to whatever you want dot shsh so in my case i'll do 8.4.1 dot shsh use dot shsh now you have your blob file and if you want to confirm that this has worked properly you can go ahead and open up your system settings. For me, it's system settings. It may be system preferences, depending on the version of Mac OS you're using. Go to general, date and time, and you need to set the date back to 2015. Now this is gonna sound a little ridiculous, but this command will not work unless you do this. Now you wanna type dot slash validate, whatever you named your SHSH file, so 8.4.1 dot SHSH, and drag in your IPSW one more time, dash z go ahead and hit enter and if it says that your shsh file is usable for your iphone's ecid then you know this has worked properly so thank you guys for watching now how to use this file you simply want to open up future restore put your device in dfu mode then put it in pwn dfu mode use future restore with pwn dfu and set your generator to 0x16 ones this is because the default generator is 0x16 ones, and that's what it's set for dumped blobs. Then it should restore just fine. There should be no issues, and I may or may not make a separate video showing how to do it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this helps you for dumping the blobs for your A6 devices. This works on the iPhone 5, 5C, and iPad 4. And like any other iPhone Maniac YT video, peace out, guys.